good morning welcome back to our channel we eat with v and v in our last video we discussed what is subject what is subject and what is verb now we are going to discuss the tense what do you mean by tense it's so simple tense tells the time of the action tense tells the time of the action means the tense will explain you the action happened yeah happening yeah will happen okay so the definitely the tense are classified into mainly three that is your present tense past tense and future tense what do you mean by present tense present tense means i am talking to you and you are listening to me that is happening right now so it is present tense and past tense means which happened already yesterday i watched a movie yesterday i went to meet my friend it's finished that action is already finished such things are the past tense and tomorrow i'm going to watch a movie or tomorrow i will finish my work or tomorrow we will play cricket so these things didn't happen or it's going to happen it's going to happen so present tense it's happening right now past tense it's already happened and the future tense have to happen and in regional languages like uh, any i mean malayalam ya tamil whatever it is Uh, present tense means only one present tense like that past tense and future tense but in the case of english this present tense is again classified into four that is simple present tense present continuous tense present perfect tense present perfect continuous tense okay so tense are mainly classified into three present tense past tense and future tense and now we are going to discuss about present tense in this word present tense is again classified into four simple present tense present continuous tense present perfect tense and present perfect continuous tense and we are not going to learn all these tense right now we are going to just learn the simple present tense and uh, in each and every tense the first thing that you have to learn is the format how how we can use the tense and how is the structure of the tense in simple present tense its structure ya yeah, format is like this subject plus base form of the verb you already know what is subject we learned subject uh, doer of the action is known as subject and subjects are classified into mainly three first person second person and third person so we know the subject but what is the base form of the verb for example if you are saying that talk walk sleep run read drink eat jump all these are base forms then what is i mean what are the other forms if you are adding ing walking sleeping eating reading listening this ing forms and ed forms are there walked played listen ed forms are then en forms also they get changed okay uh, so if this uh, ed forms ing forms and en forms are not there means that type of verb is known as base form of the verb so the format of simple present tense is so simple subject plus base form of the verb remember subject plus be plus base form of the verb and one more thing you have to remember when the subject is third person singular what in by third person singular he she it okay he she it when the subject is third person singular such as he she it we will add yes es or ies to the verb okay so we already know that subjects are of three types first person second person and third person if the subject is first person second person and the third person plural subject plus base form and if the subject is third person singular apart from this base form we will add what we will add yes to that one okay subject plus verb plus s e s or i e s okay so for most of the verbs we are adding s yes, like a uh, work works write writes play plays sleep sleeps okay so these are the verbs that we are adding just s yes. and where to add e s it's a question right if a verb is ending with s yes, s yes, such ch or x we will add es like 
kiss it's ending with s kisses wash it's ending with sh washes teach it's ending with ch teaches fix it's ending with x fixes okay so mostly for all the verbs we are adding s yes. if a verb is ending with s ch sh or x we will add es and if a verb is ending with y we will add i e s for example study studies try tries okay and uh, we already learned the base form plus verb i mean uh, subject plus base form of the verb is a format when the subject is third person singular we will add s es or ies one more thing we are going to learn here if an auxiliary verb comes between the singular subject and the verb there will be no s rule what in by auxiliary verb i mean it's it's auxiliary verb if an auxiliary verb comes in between the subject for example if you say like this he can speak can is an auxiliary verb so we will not say that he can speaks we will say he can speak he must speak not he must speaks because must is an auxiliary verb he may speak not he may speaks because may is an auxiliary verb okay so in, we already learned subject plus base form of the verb is the format when the subject is singular we will add s es or as and we already learned that where to add s where to add es where to add ies and we learned about the s rule also when the when there is an auxiliary verb in between the subject and the verb we should not have to follow the s rule okay now come back to the topic we are reading two sentences here the first one is we live in delhi he lives in delhi what do you mean by we live in delhi or exactly can you state the difference between we are living in delhi and we live in delhi okay if you know i think you know that anyway i will explain we live in delhi means we are living there permanently okay but if i'm saying that we are living in delhi it doesn't mean that we are living there permanently may i reach delhi for a couple of days or weeks or months i lived there and i will go back definitely from where i came so at that time if i am not at all living for a long time there i will say that i am living in delhi or we are living in delhi but if i am living there permanently what we will say we live in delhi so we came to know that now permanent if you want to say the actions that's permanent such things or such actions we have to say in simple present tense so this is the first use of simple present tense when you have to express a permanent thing in english language you have to go with which tense simple present tense okay fine here another sentence for you i work i wake up at 6 am i go to sleep at 8 pm this is what it's a routine habit right every day you will wake up at 8 o'clock sorry 6 o'clock 9 o'clock 10 o'clock child is yours exactly like you have a time to go to sleep you have a time to have breakfast you have to have a time to go for work and to play so when you are going to say all these things like your routine actions your habitual actions then also you have to use which tense simple present tense so simple present tense is used to express a permanent action simple present tense is also used to express a habitual action a habitual action or routine action the sun rises in the east your science students please excuse they may say that not sun rises in the east but where the sun rises that is the east i know that's the truth but it's not science it's literature so we can say simply that sun rises in the east what's the peculiarity of this subject i mean this sentence if you say this statement in from you if you are staying in india uh, it's right if you go to antarctica then also you can say the same sentence the sun rises in the east if you go to the arctic region then also you can say the same sentence the sun rises in the east so what do you mean by this one is the truth not truth general truth it is applicable for all the persons living in the world so if you want to express a general truth then also you will use which tense simple present tense okay the next one 
Here's one example. Our class starts at 9 a.m. My duty starts at 8 o'clock, right? And uh, the bus is at 9 o'clock every day. So these are what? So scheduled things, right? This class is scheduled, meeting is scheduled, bus, bus timing is scheduled. So if you want to express a scheduled action, then, or, then also you will use which tense? We will use simple present tense. For a scheduled action, to express a scheduled action, we will use simple present tense. The next one, she always takes the bus. It's happening normally every day, right? It's a frequency. She always takes the bus. So if you want to say some frequent actions, then there also we will use which tense? Simple present tense. Here we can replace uh, the always with the never. She never take the bus. That means she don't like to go in bus. Otherwise we can use often here. She often takes the bus. bus. That means mostly she takes the bus or else you can say sometimes. She sometimes take the, takes the bus. So when I use the term sometimes here, I just want to say something to you. Sometimes is a confusing term because uh, you can say sometime as two words, sometime together, sometimes it's another. Do you know the difference between what I mean by sometime, sometime and sometimes? If not, come back to our topic and check. This sometime means a quite a long time. I'll give an example for you. I will take some time to complete the task. Actually, you are asking for a time duration, right? So some time, you exactly didn't express how much minutes, how many hours you want, or how many months you want. You just said, I will take some time to complete the work. It's a quite long time. The next one is some time, it's together. It means to refer to an indefinite time, usually in future. We can go with an example. It will be easy for you. I will meet you sometimes later, sometime later. Actually, I didn't say to you that I will meet you tomorrow. I will meet you, half, meet you after one and a half hour, yeah, two hours, yeah, two days, yeah, one day, two days, three days, Friday, 10 days, one year. But it's an indefinite time. Maybe I can meet you after a couple of minutes, maybe a couple of years. So some time means refer to an indefinite time, usually in future. The last one is sometimes. Sometimes means occasionally, more than once. Vinu sometimes goes home on weekends, mostly on weekends. He will go home, right? So that part I finish. The next example, I plan to go abroad soon after my studies. Actually, I will finish my studies after this month. After that, I already plan to go for studies abroad. It's a pre-designed, yeah, pre-planned action. Right? To express a pre planned action, we will use what? Simple present tense. Okay. So we learned a lot of things where, where we are using the simple present tense. The first one is to express a permanent action. We will use which tense? Simple tense. To express a habitual action, simple present tense. To express a general truth, simple present tense. To express a scheduled action, simple present tense. To express the frequency, simple present tense, to express a future event already planned. There also we will use what? Simple present tense. Hope you understood. If you have any doubt, you can please comment or contact us and wait for the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.